This is the lock nest, and the lock I have for you today is the Niman Palmer padlock. The name Niman will immediately ring a bell for all French person, since this is the word Niman, pronounced Neman in French, uh, which means uh, fork lock or steering wheel lock. Indeed, the French inventor Abraham Niman invented and patented the fork and steering wheel locking system in 1931. The system became extremely popular in France after the Second World War and equipped cars from most of the French car manufacturers. Since then, in France, the name Neyman is used to say fork lock or steering wheel lock. On the padlock, we can read Antivol Palmer Neyman BTE SGDG. Antivol literally means anti theft and Palmer refers to the design of the padlock. Indeed, this padlock looks a lot like a screw micrometer, like the one you can see now. This kind of micrometer was invented by a French engineer called Jean Laurent Palmer. And in France, the name Palmer is now used to talk about this kind of micrometer. In the patent for this padlock, Niemann says that the design of this padlock makes it look like a Palmer or a micro-millimetric compass. And everywhere in the patent, the padlock is called the Palmer, instead of using the word padlock. Since we are uh, talking about the patent, we can continue the rest of the text, which is B-T-E-S-G-D-G, which means breveté sans garantie du gouvernement, and translate to patented without government guarantees. Note that this kind of legal notice uh, stopped being used after uh, 1968. The patent for this padlock was filed in 1941 and granted in 1949. In the patent, Niman note that this design is made to replace several sizes of padlock, have a nice aesthetic and be more secure. If the usefulness and security claim may be challenged, we have to agree that it looks really cool. So the locking mechanism with uh, the lock pole at the end here is based on a wheel locking system patented in 1940, which is itself based on a bicycle fork lock system patented in 1938. This is confirmed by the patent, which states that its purpose is to use an existing fork or wheel lock system in a padlock. The system is spring loaded and uh, is key retaining. So even when uh, the, the key is turned like that or like that, it's not possible to uh, remove the key. But when it's inside, it can be easily removed. I have found no reference about the key retaining system in Nemine patent or on the internet. So I'm not sure exactly how the retaining functionality has been uh, implemented in this lock. So the locking mechanism use a pin here, which rotates like that. And when it's in the lock position, this pin goes directly in a groove inside the padlock body and lock the system. We can see on the other side here, there is a hole. And in fact, this hole is used during the manufacturing process to drill the groove on the other side, which goes here where the pin from uh, the locking system goes. Uh, we can see here that the pin is in the middle of the key, you see? So the pin here is in this position when closed. And we can see here that uh, the, the, the pin is nearly uh, near the end of the, the key, but not at the very end. So this means that, in fact, here, uh, there is no pin where we should have a pin for the locking system. There is only uh, the uh, locking pole. So, in fact, even if the key seems to uh, look like a key uh, bidding for uh, five pins, this is the lock which has only four pins. Originally, uh, the patent uh, talked about having a locking system uh, with a pin at the end of the pole here, which will goes and engage in a groove inside uh, this 
part of the padlock. However, uh, if it's in the patent, uh, it has never uh, ended in the final product, probably uh, because it may require more manufacturing steps and a different looking system where the pole will be connected directly to the inner barrel of the, this part and not the outer barrel like it's uh, actually and how it's used in the wheel locking system used as bias for uh, this padlock. You can see here when the lock rotate, the key rotate, there is no rotation of the pole. And this may require to make several changes uh, on the locking system which they uh, don't uh, implement. So if you want to see this lock picked, uh, you can uh, take a look at the video um, the lock picking lo lawyer made. Uh, there is the link in the description. If you are interested in uh, this kind of padlock, you can take a look at my eBay store. I may have some uh, interesting lock like that from time to time. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel on our Facebook page. And to see picture of some cool locks, you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. All links are in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day.